totally cut myself on duct tape. It is physically possible. I had a piece of OSB sitting on top. Well, when I pulled the OSB off, there was a little piece right there. And as I grabbed the duct tape, I put my hand here and I pulled out a piece. Well, it went and the OSB cut my finger. Make sure you bag and label your screws. Husky contractor bags. All purpose cleaning vinegar. So I added about seven gallons of water. That should be plenty. I've had it soaking, everything soaking in the vinegar for about a day and a half. I did give this a little scrub yesterday. So I'm just going to scrub off some of the rust while it's still submerged here. Look at that. I have water here. I need to, we need to neutralize the acid that's in the vinegar. We use baking soda. I don't know if you can see. I don't know how much to put in there. That should be enough, right? Hope so.
all the bolts labeled cast iron top. Pretty nice. I hit this first with the steel brush. So first I hit this with the steel brush on both sides. Then I hit it with 60 grit sandpaper. And then I went to 100 grit and then I had a 180 grit. Well, here's the miter gauge. Uh, this part was uh, steel. I went over this with the steel wheel. This piece, I, I started really running out of time. This is one of the last things I did. All I did on this was I polished it for about an hour with aluminum polish. These are all for the miter gauge. It really helps if you keep everything in the same box. Here's the fence. Uh, this didn't clean up as well as I wanted it to. It was beat up. He cut it with the saw. There's no way to sand. I mean, I could sand all the way in there, but it just probably won't be as level if I do that. I hit the top of this with a steel wheel, steel brush. It took off a little bit, but it wasn't bad. Just hit it with polish. I polished it for about an hour. Hand polished. I didn't, I didn't have a polishing wheel. I knew I should have bought one. I knew it! Perfect. Huh. Oh, I like it. We're good. So that's about it. Uh...